So in this quick support video, we're gonna take a look at what you can do if you forget the passcode on your Apple Watch. Now, if you find a video informative at all, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below with the bell for notification. It definitely helps out the channel and also share the video. Now, one of the first things you can do is reset the actual watch itself from the iPhone that it's paired to. In this process, you wanna make sure you keep both the iPhone and the Apple Watch fairly close to each other. You're gonna go into the Apple Watch companion app you're going to go into the general tab and you're going to hit that reset option there now once you tap the reset option you're going to want to erase the watch's content and settings you're going to tap again to confirm and you may need to enter your apple id just to confirm everything over if you're on an apple watch with a data plan you're going to want to select to keep the data plan if you plan to repair the watch to the same iphone if you're changing it to a different iphone or giving the watch to someone else then you can go ahead and select to remove the data plan allow that reset process to complete and then go ahead and repair the watch to that iPhone or when you're done with the complete reset you can then give the watch to someone else to pair to their iPhone or pair it to a new iPhone now the other thing you can do is also just reset the watch itself directly from the watch without the iPhone that it's paired to for this you're just going to need the actual charger for the Apple watch make sure you connect the watch to the charger and the charger to a power outlet then you're going to press and hold the side button until you get that power off option once that appears you're going to press and hold the digital crown for a couple of seconds and then you're going to get an option that says erase all content and settings you're going to tap the erase button tap it again to confirm wait for the process to complete and then you should be able to repair the apple watch to that iPhone. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that erasing all the content and settings via the Apple Watch without unpairing it first doesn't remove any activation locks that may be on the actual Apple Watch itself. So if you do have an activation lock on the Apple Watch, you're gonna wanna unpair it first from the iPhone that it's paired to, but in any other circumstances, doing this will completely fix your issue and give you the ability to repair the Apple Watch back to any iPhone. Again, if you enjoyed the video, guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below with that bell for notification and a like would definitely help us out as well. And go ahead and share this video out because it can definitely help some people who may be having issues with the past code on your apple watch as always thanks so much for checking out the channel and the video stay tuned for more and until i see you guys next time stay safe and peace out